Hey folks, it's Amy at the Crafty Cottage. How is everyone today? I am finally just about there. My cast will come off tomorrow. Tomorrow. You're only a day away. Anyway, I decided I, I figured out something I could do. I've been trying to craft every single day. Um, most of you have figured out I'm no longer a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And I am working on some Ulta new products. I'm doing some education. So while I do my education, I'm going to talk to y'all about it. And I'm learning some different ways to use basic things that I've already known. And I just wanted to show you a quick little card that I'm doing uh, for one of the classes. And I thought I'd show you a little thing that I decided to do with it. It's a little different than what they taught us in the class, but it's almost the same idea. Anyway, I'm going to flip you over and let you see what I did to color some flowers. They came out absolutely fabulous, and the stamp set is Wavy Blooms. It came in a free order that I have. Every so often, they'll put out a free stamp set with any purchase uh, over a certain dollar figure. But, you know, I'm not buying a whole bunch of product right now because, you know, we can't do much. So I'm going to flip you over and we'll get to it. All right, so what I've done so far is I have embossed in gold. You can see the pretty little gold flowers. This is the stamp set, uh, Wavy Blossoms. And here's the stamps. Um, we have this pretty little flower, which I've stamped here, and embossed it in Versamark ink and some gold embossing powder. And here's the other little stamp that goes with it, which you can see here colored. And then a thank you. That's what comes with these, like $4.99 or $9.99. It's not very expensive, and it's a really cute stamp set. And I have done a card. You can see it right here, and that will be on the blog. Now I've, I have my little pen out because I was just trying to make sure I had everything off of there before I heat emboss it. This was the flower we chose to use. Don't need that one anymore. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to color these like this. And this is, I only have a few colors from Ulta New. This actually comes in a pack. Um goes like this. This is the order that they come in. Pink Diamond, Pink Alicious, Ruby Light, and Raz Razzleberry. I think that's what it's. Raspberry or Razzleberry. So I'm going to use the Pink Diamond, and these two are what I used for the actual card. Um, I might actually take this one out because it was really close to this and use these three. So what I'm going to do is, I'm sure most of you know how to do this. I'm going to flip the camera. Let's get a clean block because that one really needs to be cleaned. All right, so I'm just going to take some of this pink diamond on here and I'm going to squish it all over this little ink pad. Now, if you had, you know, the um, Tim Holtz mat or your silicone mat, which I do have one, but I don't generally leave it on my desk. Uh, you could use that. You can use a block. You can use whatever you want. If you have reinkers, you could use those too. So we're going to start with just the, the pink diamond so far. So you can see that we're going to start with that one. And I'm using my old empty Winka Stella brush. It is empty, but it still has a little love to it. And I'm just going to squeeze out some water over here in the corner from my just water painter. Don't need a whole lot because you don't want to put a lot of water on this because I do not have watercolor paper. The paper I'm using is just your Nina White Solar Cardstock. If you have, you know, any kind of cardstock that you have that's white would work uh, as long as there's a thicker base, uh, not that really thin designer series paper kind of stuff. So I'm going to take some of my water here with my pen and I'm just going to pull it into this ink. So I get, you know, a nice little color going on here. A little more water. And there we go. We got a little color. So we're just going to color one or two of these. And I'm literally just going to blend this in here. I'm going to color the whole thing with this pink alicious because I want the whole flower to be this way. With the whole flower. And then we're going to put in some dimension on this. And we might want to make it a little lighter. Because, you know, the outside isn't going to be as dark. But the beauty of using your old, which a lot of you probably already know this, that follow me, using your old Wink Estella or one of your old empty um, glitter brushes. There are a couple of different vendors out there with these. But using it, it gives you a little shine. There's not much left in this one, but you can see in 
the other ones, there's some shimmer to it. And it's hard to see it with all of the, there you can see it in this one. But you can see in the one I just did, there's still some shine and shimmer to that. Not much. Not much is left. I'm going to have to get a new, but you see all of it in my pen here. You can see it there. So, I mean, it's there. And it's empty as all get out. So we're going to color one more with this, and then we're going to put in some some details, you know, to make that flower have a little bit of depth to it. And we're going to use the same little palette that we're using for with one of the other colors. And I've missed crafting so much, but this is the only thing I can really do with this. You know, it's, it's some watercolor. I've done some painting and some techniques just to see what I could do. And I've done blog posts. It's really hard to type. So, you know, there's that. So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put the next darker shade in the corner. It is Pinkalicious. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take my water over here, a couple of drops of water, put it in here. And then I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to go from the bottom and I'm going to pull up just like you would be watercoloring anything and it's great I love this little technique I think it is like the bomb I love to watercolor and I love to color things and I'm really not that good at it that's why I'm taking all these classes I want to get better so see how I just kind of gave it some detail we're going to take some more water and some more ink and we're going to do this one over here we're going to do the same thing and now mind you I'm going from the bottom out so it's darker at the bottom, as most flowers are. You know, some of them are lighter and then get dark at the top. You know, it's just nature. Nature is not the same for everything. So now that this is clean, I'm going to make sure I come over and I wipe it out. Make sure I get all that out of there. Now I'm going to take my really dark color, if I can open it up, because my hand does not want to work very well. And this is a, ow, very tight, and now I have it all over me my ink brush. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm going to put just a little of this over there. This is the Razzleberry and it's really a purple color. Got to get me a napkin though because I have it on my fingers. On my cast. You know. See? So, and get it off of my, ink, my pen here. Alright. So again, we're going to do the same thing. Just a little bit of this color because we don't need a lot. I really put too much on the block, but it's okay. And we're going to start again from the bottom. And this is this one I'm going to go really light with because it can be overpowering really fast, this color. I love this color. It's really pretty. It's kind of a purpley. I know my friend Kim loves purples. Um, I've got two friends that love purples. And both of them are named Kim. So we're going to put this in here like this. And we're, that's all we're going to do. We're just going to put this in here. And it gives it the, the thing that I love is that it's giving it some shimmer in there with this pen. I don't know if you can really see it all that well. Maybe I should get this light over to the side so maybe you can see it a little better in the camera. There you go. You can see the shimmer now. It's not great. It's not light. I just wanted a light shimmer. But if you look at my card over here, there's a lot of shimmer on this one because this is right when my pen went out. But isn't that pretty? It's almost like I took the whole Wink of Stella pen and went over my card. And I did not. I just used my leftover Wink of Stella. And these become a great... I need more water to rinse this out. They become a great tool as just a, a great tip to brush and paint colors with. See how pretty that is? So I hope that's a quick little tip for you and that you all like that. Let me put my ugly mug back up. Hope y'all liked it. Hope y'all had a great time looking at it. And I hope you miss me as much as I've missed you all. Um, y'all have a great day. And I will be back again tomorrow. Um, tomorrow is all about pampering the arm. We get it off at 1030 in the morning. So I'm super stoked. I have a countdown. So once it's off, look out. First day is going to be pampering the arm. Nice little scrub. A long shower. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.